it's gonna be really fun to and see how this is gonna go especially because sure. we're gonna see seal team rick here against also, the bugs Harley. bunny i think um something that is wild is just seeing harley against rick especially because crunch is known for his bugs but like here he's playing harley oh he's just gonna stick with the harley Cruncho, why did you tell me this? <laughs> you didn't tell me you had a Harley, bruh. Yeah, I didn't even think he had a Harley. I thought it was only bugs. Leaving me out like that, how could you? But anyways, we're going to get started here with the first game of this really exciting set to take place. Once again, Martev with the... Why am I losing my thought here? <laughs> with, the Rick, with the Rick? Yeah, yeah with the Rick! The that's not, it! I, yeah, the with the Rick! Jake. I think if, like, one of them lose, I think, no matter who it is, they're gonna switch to their main. Unless, you know, they have just changed mains. Because I feel like if, uh, Martev or Crunchbo loses... You know, I feel like... Sky Arena, no platforms, and... I think that Harley Quinn might have a tiny bit of an it trouble trying to approach Rick. He does have a lot of ways to be able to outzone Harley, but I mean, Harley is really, really good at co extending her combos. So you have uh, two different ways that each of these players could go after each other here. I wouldn't be surprised to see this be really even throughout. Very true. And you know, if Rick does kind of just get hit by a straight Harley forward air, he's going across the stage. He will hit every platform. Ooh, I'm gonna use that up. I'm really liking the use of up special here from Martev. Using it as a way to control your positioning, but also it is a bigger hitbox and it does set them out to the sides. So it does help. What about a combo? Oh, that's good. Oh, right Jordy there. looking good after that one. Dang, I will say, he's, he is seeing up the potential, you know, I do wonder how Cruncho is gonna, you know, play around that, since it is such a big hitbox, like you said. So I think that'll be very interesting to see. This is a little bit of an issue here for Harley, when she's in disadvantage state, she has a hard time trying to be able to get back into the game, but Cruncho, not afraid to come after you with that aggression that Zach is so well known for here. But, 40% still on the Harley, one of the lightest characters in the game because of that assassin class. But, unfortunately, Martev gonna lose all of his special uses on the air. And going to lose that stock as a result, and Cruncho is just gonna keep it going and bringing it back to even. Cruncho has gotten into the groove now, it feels, after that first stock. I think he's got the download. Oh yeah, I think that Martev is having a very hard time trying to get his momentum back into his favor, but Cruncho is just bringing his A game into this. But we're gonna see down special. This looks like he's got that momentum back. Oh, oh, very good use of up special there to provide Great so much stage thing. coverage and that edge guard into spike. Perfect stuff coming in from Martev. It did not look like he was going to be able to win that game, I'll be honest, but he pulled it right back with that easy game one victory. Very true. And I think the thing that we notice here is Cruncho did do more damage. That is something that Harley players are um, known for. She's very good at dealing DPS, and it's just a matter of how you kill your opponent. If you kill him early, you're going to deal less damage overall, but... In, in that game, I wouldn't be too surprised to see Cruncho switch over to the Bugs Bunny. Um, that's what he's known for. That's his main. So, who I'm knows? Very, I'm very excited to see the Bugs. I feel like if Cruncho does pull out the and take it to Game 3, I do feel like we'll see Martev's... He's staying Harley? What? Makes a little bit of sense. I'm not too surprised that this uh, pick to stay with her as well because Harley Quinn it it pulled out. It did some work. Very true. It did do some work. And I let's see, you know, what stage they're going. If he's gonna stay at that no platforms, 
Um, since it is Cruncho's counter pick, I wouldn't be too surprised to see Sky Arena with platforms or possibly Trophy's Edge. It makes a uh, perfect use of Harley Quinn's just ability to really ladder you up to the top, and that's really what she looks for with her combo game. We saw it there a couple times in that first game. She wasn't able to get those extensions that she needed because she didn't have the platforms to be able to do it, but Cruncho here, he's going to be able to do it, hopefully. It does look like, though, that both players are just kind of looking for their start. And then, like, once they get that start, they just have the momentum to keep going. Both of these characters are the type that you kind of want to set up your things a little bit first. Harley Quinn's is probably a little bit faster, but Rick has some really nasty, uh, some swifty shenanigans that can get you really into some trouble, especially at the beginning of the game. However, the moment Cruncho is able to get his advantage position going and keeps the momentum alive, it's gonna be hard to get out of it here. Harley Quinn, when you are above her, it is devastating. You have to get below her as soon as possible. Very true. Plus, like, as we're seeing here, though, Martev has gotten the read with that up B. He just knows what Cruncho's doing. It's like he's an open book. That's kind of what happens when you are a bit of an aggressive player. You are always trying to get in on your opponent, and they can actually decide, oh, yeah, they're just going to come in over to me, so I'm going to hit them with this as a punishment for them being so aggressive. Oh, we're seeing the bomb, but it's not going to make that up special kill. Not just yet. Every single time we've seen the explosions coming off, it's been uh, a little too far for the Harley Quinn up special to work here, but ooh, we could potentially see it here. Yep, we're going to see the neutral air take it. Uh, so actually, yeah, I don't know why, but that just looks like forward air to me. Yeah, it, it it looks like it at first, but it actually has a hitbox behind it. So it is yeah. um, a very dangerous tool that uh, players can use indeed. Here we go. Oh, I'm loving the use of the bomb there to get rid of Mr. Meeseeks. Because that character does provide a good amount of stage control for Rick. Especially in this kind of matchup where Harley does like having the stage control. So that way she can play her air game. Very true. Plus, as we saw though, like Martin just made one mistake and went to 76. Does yeah. It look like that Cruncho is starting to slowly pull away from Martev. But you know, Martev with Rick's combo game, I feel like he could just get that damage right back if he gets the stock. Oh, that could have been a really good uh, double connection there with the uh, Jack, and Bo Jack and Box explosion. Ooh, I'm liking the use of a spike into up special. Gonna Morphize himself so that way he can get the uh, Mr. Meeseeks providing a lot of stage control here, but another up special could certainly take it. But the neutral air going to set him backwards. We got the ignite. Test to be an extremely dangerous situation for Martha right here, especially with the 146 against Harley. There it is. Defeat. We're going to. Oh my goodness. It was. Yeah. Not even close that time around. I mean, really, Cruncho, I, I say this a lot when I commentate. Game one is usually very good for people to sort of like get an idea of how their opponent plays. And it's okay if you take the loss. You still have two games to take at least. It's a best out of three for a reason. So it gives you the ability to be able to get an idea of how your opponent's playing. And then you can go in and show them that you know how they play and can take advantage of it. Very true. Plus, I feel like that uh, even with that game one, it's still a very dangerous game. Because, you know, once you lose, it kind of does put you in that, like, kind of not really good mental state. And, you know, the mental battle of, like, Smash Bros. and Multiverses, that's half of it. It's a combination of things. You have the stage counter pick being a potential player, and then you have the mind game as well. There's a lot more to esports than just what's going on in the game. There's a mental game outside of things. You have to be mentally aware of every sort of situation that could possibly come up and how to react to it. And unfortunately, Martev just didn't have the answers to be able to do it that game, but we will see here if he might be able to this time around. Very true. No, I think uh, we will be seeing the no platforms again. Yeah, it it, it looked like the counter pick was Sky Arena no platforms, which gives Martev a little bit more of an advantage. But I mean, if if Cruncho plays it like he did last game, I I wouldn't be surprised. I just want to see a lot more good positioning with the jack o' lanterns and the bomb to where Cruncho is just a little bit closer to be able to get some extensions going with that up special and up air. 
But Martev so far doing a really great job. He wasn't able to land that up air, which does uh, have an effect on it. But, ooh, here we go. Good combo there, but unfortunately going to lose it. I will say something that is, uh, you know, kind of, uh, I would say off-putting. But um, it does, it is kind of hard to tell what perks they have, especially because we can't see them. But, you know, I am, I am expecting that Cruncho is running at least triple jump. Oh, there we go, first stock. We're gonna see the portal being used. Okay, so, I uh, wanna let you all know on the stream, yes, we do know that the game is not showing up on your screen. However, I will be happy to let you guys know as well that Cruncho is one stock ahead currently on Martev, but Martev looking to get some sort of spike opportunity here, but Cruncho gonna put Martev off stage, going Very for true. the neutral air. This could be a good extension. Yep, gonna be it able to get it with the four charge. I will say Martev had not Martev, but Cruncho is starting to pull away, especially with that 71. Could be like, a really good position, but like I said before, every single time that we see Cruncho getting something like an explosion on Martev, he's not there to be able to counteract with that up special to get an early kill. And it's been costing him, especially on a stage like Sky Arena with no platforms here. We're going to see the neutral air charge there. Nothing just yet, but like the amount of a lead here that Cruncho has, Martev really has to come up with something here. Oh, we could potentially see it with the Rain Dog. Oh, good to see it. With the Rain Dog debuff, but no, he wasn't going to be able to take advantage of it. Oh my gosh. This is this is getting close. But there we go. One, 114 one up towards up. the top. Can't figure out a way oh. down from the Harley Quinn and loses oh, all these specials and he's going to lose it. Cruncho taking the game and we again apologize for no one being able to see the game but you know it's it's just like back in you know the olden times of radios thank you everybody for coming on to the podcast <laughs> oh yes the podcast now and, you know the speaking C of cup cast yeah speaking of crunch show we're gonna have him in here for a little inter after game interview you know you know, after seeing his just crunching capabilities, one could say. <laughs> I I was surprised at first to see the um, Harley Quinn, but now I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. 